Eyewitness Sports right now. Good evening, I'm Brendan Miller with Eyewitness Sports and earlier today I was joined by a very special guest in the studio, Utica City FC forward and last year's Major Arena Soccer League Joseph Cairo Award winner Tim Goldman. He joined me to preview the UCFC season before their home opener this Sunday at 3 o'clock and here's what he had to say. All right, well, we're here with Eyewitness Sports. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brendan Miller sitting down with Utica City FC forward Tim Goldman. Tim, of course, also the MASL Joseph Kyrell Award winner from last year. That award, of course, stressing the heart uh, and, you know, being able to be a glue guy in the locker room for the team along with some community uh, outreach and, of course, doing a little community outreach today, uh, talking to us about Utica FC's season, which has already begun, but the home opener uh, is this weekend on Sunday. So why should people come out and watch some games? Yeah, absolutely. Just first, it's, it's an absolute honor to, to be here with you today, Brennan. Um, we're back. We are yeah. back. Utica <laughs> City's back. Um, it's, it's a long off season, um, but we couldn't be more excited um, and grateful to play in front of our community again. Um, lots of, of new changes this year with a, with a new coach, a lot of new players, um, and a new practice facility in the Nexus Center as well. Um, so, so Rob Esch, you know, Tommy Tanner, our new coach, uh, Hewerton Marrera, are building something really special here in Utica um, and just an honor to be a part of it. Yeah, so you know, you're obviously a little familiar with the coaching ranks being uh, a head coach at Manlius Pebble Hill, where you, where you grew up and where you graduated from. So how has the adjustment been for Everton now being the new head coach um, with UCFC and, and you guys. Yeah, yeah. So we, we I've known him in the past, um, and he brings a wealth of, of knowledge mm -hmm. um, to our team, and we're we're really lucky and, and grateful to have him. Um, you know his his experience in the league um, and and with futsal as well. Um, it's been it's been really exciting learning under him. You know for the last couple of weeks, um, and he has us. Uh, ready to go for the season. So um, we, we can't wait for obviously our home opener um, Sunday at three. Um, we're going to give it all for our, for our fans and our community. Yeah, and you know, you mentioned a little bit earlier the Nexus Center, obviously um, the brand new facility. It's, and we've seen the videos of you guys and, you know, the Utica Comets practicing next to one another, which is obviously a, a pretty cool visual. But yep. how has that been being able to use the new facility and, you know, getting a little action where you actually or next door to where you actually play games? Yeah, we're, we're home. We're home. Right. It, it is a absolutely world class uh, facility. Obviously, everything is is brain spanking new um, and it's it's a quality pitch. Um, and the fact that we're here practicing in Utica, um, it. It just means more. Um, you know, our team is going to be more in the community. We're going to be more in schools. We're going to be more in the restaurants, in the grocery stores, and we're going to be able to do much more in the community. Um, so to be able to practice here in Utica, um, it's a it's a dream come true. Yeah, and so looking forward, Sunday obviously is your your first game at the Adirondack Bank Center, three o'clock. Uh, you'll go into it with two games. Kind of the team will have two games under their belt. The first one. Uh, probably didn't go as well as you thought it would, it yep. would but you know, still high scoring, still a lot, of, a lot of energy from the offensive end. Is that something that we can expect to see on Sunday? Um, and yeah. for people who are unfamiliar with, uh, you know, futsal or indoor soccer, why should they go to the games and what can they expect? Yeah, so absolutely. In indoor soccer is action packed. Yeah. Um, it's back and forth, lots of goals, lots of shots. Um, and the energy in the Adirondack Bank Center is um, it's incredible. It's incredible. Our fans create a fantastic atmosphere, um, and it just it it it, it makes you want to give everything for the team. Um, so you know, I've never met someone that's come to our game that hasn't had a good time. Um, so anyone out there, uh, <laughs> Sunday at three, uh, we're gonna get the odd rocking. Awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate you coming in and speaking with us again Sunday at 3 o'clock. Utica City FC opens their home season at the Adirondack Bank Center, and you won't want to miss it. For now, that's all for Eyewitness Sports. I'm Brendan Miller. That's Tim Goldman, and we will continue the broadcast after the break.